Have you ever wondered why your faith seems to fall short, leaving you feeling powerless and frustrated? You've prayed, trusted, and believed, but the results don't reflect the promises of Scripture. Many believers face this challenge, and today we'll explore why. Could it be that the missing link isn't about the size of your faith, but rather the strength of your relationship with Christ? Today we'll discover how the true power of faith comes not just from believing but from abiding in Christ. Let's start with a profound statement Jesus made in John 15 verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Here Jesus gives us a crucial picture of our relationship with him. He uses the metaphor of a vine and branches, showing that just as a branch cannot bear fruit unless it is connected to the vine, our faith cannot produce results if we are not deeply connected to Christ. It's not enough to just believe, our belief must be rooted in a living, ongoing relationship with Him. Faith without relationship Many of us view faith as a tool to get things done in the spiritual realm. We think if we just muster enough faith, God will respond. But the Bible paints a different picture. Faith isn't just about believing in outcomes, it's about believing in Him. When our faith is disconnected from a personal relationship with Christ, it becomes mechanical and powerless. James 2 verse 17 says, In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. We often focus on the need for action, but that action isn't a checklist of tasks, it's a natural outflow of abiding in Christ. When our faith is powered by relationship, it leads to fruitful living. Think about it this way. Faith without a relationship is like trying to run a car without fuel. No matter how polished or powerful the car is, it won't go anywhere without being fueled. Similarly, our faith is designed to be fueled by an intimate connection with Christ. Without Him, even great acts of faith lose their power. The key to effective faith if your faith isn't producing the results you desire, it's time to shift your focus from merely having faith to building a deeper relationship with Christ. In John 15, Jesus makes it clear that remaining in Him is the key to bearing fruit. The phrase, remain in me, speaks of daily dependence, ongoing fellowship, and spiritual connection. When we truly abide in Christ, our faith naturally becomes more effective because we are aligned with His heart and His purposes. We no longer see faith as a tool to get our will accomplished, but rather as a conduit through which God's will flows. Let's consider the story of the centurion in Matthew 8 verses 5 to 13. He demonstrated great faith when he asked Jesus to heal his servant with just a word. But his faith was not rooted in mere belief, it was rooted in a deep understanding of Jesus' authority. The centurion's relationship with Jesus, marked by respect and trust, activated his faith in a powerful way. This is a prime example of how faith works when it's connected to a real relationship with Christ. Why your faith needs abiding Many of us struggle with faith because we view it as a standalone principle rather than an outcome of our relationship with Christ. But faith doesn't work in isolation. The power of your faith depends on your connection to the source of that power, Jesus. In Mark 11 verse 24, Jesus says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. This verse encourages bold faith, but we must remember that it is framed within the context of a relationship with God. We aren't called to believe in outcomes for their own sake. We are called to trust in God's goodness, His will, and His timing. Faith that works is faith that flows from knowing and trusting God, not just from wanting specific results. So what does it mean to abide in Christ? Abiding means being in constant communion with Him, 
remaining close, staying in his word, and allowing his spirit to lead your life. It's a relationship of dependence and trust. Seek relationship first. If your faith feels weak or ineffective, refocus on your relationship with God. Spend time in his presence daily, not just asking for things but seeking to know him more. Matthew 6 verse 33 reminds us, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Let God's word guide your faith. Romans 10 verse 17 says, Faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. Your faith needs to be continually nourished by scripture. The more you immerse yourself in God's word, the more you understand his heart, which strengthens your faith. Trust his will over your desires. Often, we feel like our faith isn't working because God isn't giving us what we want. But true faith is about trusting that God's will is better than our own. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Surrender your desires to God and trust that his plans are better than your own. If your faith feels powerless, the issue may not be the size of your faith but the strength of your relationship with Christ. Faith without connection to Jesus is fruitless, but faith rooted in relationship bears abundant fruit. The missing link between power and faith is a living, daily relationship with God. Abide in Him, trust in Him, and watch as your faith is reignited with power, not because of what you can do, but because of who He is. Amen. Thanks for watching, and if you're ready to keep going deeper into God's Word, watch the next video to continue growing in faith and understanding.